let's take a look at how I built a DIY Halloween ghost town in my front yard this year. Welcome to Cyborg Hans. This year I decided to build a DIY ghost town in my front yard. I have the general store and hotel and the jail. If you'd like to see how I built those, I'll leave some links in the description. In this video, I'm going to show you how we're moving these out to the front yard and setting up for this year's Han. So we're going to start off here at the end of September. It's a hot September morning and we're putting some bracing up for the jail. Now that facade came out pretty easy. It was two pieces. It was actually part of the witch house that I had last year. I'll put links in the description for all those videos and a card here for how I built this jail. After putting the sign up and getting the door on and attaching the lock, we're going to put the skeleton in there and move on to putting out my photo op in the front yard. So I built this um, skeleton and um, these signs. I also made a video showing how I did um, Mod Podge technique to transfer some text and graphics onto um, the photo. So once I finish the little fence here around the um, photo spot, um, and I'm using some stakes here to stake them into the ground so they don't move. We're going to dress it a little bit with some straw bales, some um, pumpkins, and then we'll go ahead and get the sign out here hung up on there. And after day one, this is what the jail looks like all lit up at night. It's a week later, and I'm here uncovering the tarps from the general store. And we have to move all the pieces out to the front first. And once we get everything staged out in the front yard, we can start bringing the main pieces out. So here's the first side. And... If uh, you remember from two years ago when I built this, this kind of makes like a corner here on the house. And as we walk around the back here, I'll show you how these pieces just bolt together. So luckily a little bit of pre-planning last year um, and getting all these um, sections correct and knowing where the hardware was, put it, bolting it all back together pretty easy because I have these wing nuts here. So not really even any tools needed for this part. And then next we'll move on to the second story. These uh, shorter sections aren't too bad, but once we get to the middle, that's when things get a little bit uh, more hairy. This middle piece ends up being about 12 feet high off the ground. It's a little top heavy because of the sign and the top cap. So I probably need just a little bit taller ladder to do that a little more safely, but we got it up there just like we did the years before. Then we'll finish off with the last corner here these are only three foot high so a total of um, 11 feet not quite as bad so we'll put the boardwalk down and get the deck here going with the supports and after we get out the sides of that second level in place there I'm going to move on to attaching the railings and uh, that just kind of helps the the look of of the whole thing with the forced perspective to make it look like it's really a two-story building even though it's only about one and a half if that and once the railing goes on we'll go ahead and take a walk around the back here and take a look at what the uh, bracing looks like I had to redesign the way it was braced. The previous year I was really nervous about thunderstorms and I had lots of angle braces so it was very hard to move around back there. This year I had to open it up a little bit because we're going to make it for the first time ever a walkthrough attraction here in the front yard. So people are going to come through the door here at the general store and we'll have some displays set up and I'm going to put out a few pneumatic props and um, this way, I, with all the braces up above, we've kept the floor open. So tell me what you think so far. Please leave a comment or a suggestion. 
Um, please take a look at all the links in the description, including going to my website, www.cyborghaunts.com, to see all my videos on these builds. And uh, please stay tuned. Subscribe so you don't miss out uh, my next video where I'm going to show you the actual walkthrough once it's complete and show you some of the events that are happening out here on Halloween night. Thanks for watching and have a happy Halloween.